Welcome to Strength of Material Lectures by Civil Thinking and today we are going to solve a problem on theorem of parallel axes. The problem is on your screen. Find the moment of inertia of a hollow circular section having external diameter 100 mm and internal diameter of 80 mm. About number 1 axes passing through center and number 2 about tangent to the outer circle and parallel to x axis. Now this problem we are asked to find the moment of inertia. We have to find the moment of inertia of this circular section. So let me draw the circular section first. Now let us denote the outside radius with R0 okay, or outside and inside radius with Ri okay. Because this is a hollow circular section okay like this is all a circular section and this inner part is hollow okay this ri radius it is hollow and we have to find the moment of inertia first about axis passing through, the, passing through center okay now let me draw the axis now let us say this is x axis okay this is x axis passing through the center now the moment of inertia of a circle about the center is pi radius power 4 divided by 4 okay but this is a hollow section right so what we have to do because this is i x okay this is the moment of inertia about the x axis which is passing through the center but we will what we will do we will do a trick here we will do because the principle of superposition applies in the in finding the moment of inertia because what we are going to do we are going to find the moment of inertia of this whole section the total radius is r naught okay this is r naught then we are going to subtract the hollow part okay the moment of inertia of hollow part why because hollow part it does not exist the hollow does not exist so the moment of inertia will subtract minus pi what is the radius of hollow part ri right ri4 divided by 4 okay now we can put pi divided by 4 as common so we are going to get pi divided by 4 r not 4 minus r inside ri4 right we get this now what is the outside radius now we have the external diameter okay we know radius is half of the diameter when the external diameter is 100 millimeter so our outside is external diameter half right half of external diameter right it is 50 mm okay now inside radius is now the internal diameter is 80 millimeter it is inside radius is half of the internal diameter so it is 40 millimeter so now let me put everything in the millimeters okay so when we are going to put these things here uh, it is going to be pi is 3.14 divided by 4 or not is 50 power 4 minus 40 power 4 right because ri is 40 now when i solve this using the calculator i will get ix to be i get 2896650 it is millimeter power 4 because remember the unit of moment of inertia is length power 4 because the length is in millimeter so it will be millimeter power 4 so if we found the moment of inertia about the center which we call as ix to be 2896650 millimeter power 4 okay now we will find the moment of inertia about tangent to outer circle and parallel to x axis i will tell you what this is but before that let me erase all of this first now the part b is about the tangent to outer circle we have to draw the tangent to this outer circle but there is a condition it has to be parallel to the x axis it means the tangent has to be parallel to the x x axis so it is only possible like this Okay, now let me call this as AB. Okay, 
this axis this one is a tangent right this yellow line is a tangent to outer this is the outer radius and this is the internal radius and also it is parallel to this x x axis now we have to find the moment of inertia about a b now because we know moment of inertia about x axis and we have to find moment of inertia about a b which is parallel to the x axis that's why we are going to use the theorem of parallel axis okay why we are going to use the theorem of parallel axis because those these two axes are parallel to each other okay now according to the theorem of parallel axis if i want to find the moment of inertia about ab let me call this as iab iab it is equal to moment of inertia about parallel axis which is xx axis ix plus area of the circle multiplied by d square the distance between these two parallel axes okay ad square okay now area is what area is the area of this hollow circle right so area of a circle is pi r square okay pi r square but the area of this hollow part will cut right because it does not exist so i will write r not square minus r i square this is the area of the hollow circle right so pi is 3.14 r not is 50 square minus r inside is 40 square right as you can see here 40 and 50 so when i solve it using the calculator i will get 2826 millimeter square right so i get this area okay now i know ix ix is this right this is ix 2896650 millimeter power 4 and area i get to be 2826 millimeter square now d d is the distance between the two parallel axes now what is d as you can see here d is equal to r naught right so in d I, I will write what r naught which is 50 okay now when i solve this i will get i a b to be let me use a calculator i get moment of inertia to be 9961650 right i hope i didn't do any calculation mistake 9961650 i think this is right millimeter power 4 so here we go we found the moment of inertia about the tangent it is iab is equal to 9961650 millimeter power 4 okay so that's it now if you want to download the pdf you can download the pdf from the link in the description and also if you have any problem strength of material problem or statics problem mechanics of materials or engineering mechanics problem you can contact me and you can ask me any of the strength of material problems the link to contact me is in the description okay you can contact me from there so that's it for today see you in the next class thank you